Hello, welcome here. I'm Florin and today I'm going to talk about uh, regenerative braking um, specific into this uh, car which is a Tesla Model 3 and about uh, one pedal drive or what is also called uh, e-pedal. Um, this video as such was inspired by me looking a little bit into uh, scan my Tesla statistics on some of my uh, recent trips um, and then I've seen quite some interesting numbers in terms of the percentage of the regenerative, uh, regenerated energy um, uh, on specific trips but also on the lifetime of the car. So uh, I think it will be interesting to share. Uh, I think this also material will also apply to some other EVs but also some other let's say plug-in hybrid vehicles and just hybrid vehicles. Um, yeah you know in a video uh, I shared with you some uh, some time ago. I was talking about uh, uh, how little I was using the the actual brakes uh, when I was driving a Passat GT, a plug-in hybrid uh, uh, vehicle, in the B mode. So, what is regenerative braking? Um, basically, when the car is moving, uh, it has some uh, cinetic energy, and when you release the accelerator pedal or in some cars you have to press the, the, the actual brakes. Uh, what, uh, what the car will do will, will basically switch the system that uh, the electric uh, motors will become dynamos, uh, like dynamos, and then they will start generate, generating energy by actually slowing down the car, uh, therefore braking, and then that energy will be stored uh, in, the, in the battery pack to be used uh, later. Um, and that's that's also um, important to mention because if for instance you have the battery full you basically don't really have much uh, 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 let's say uh, options to let's say regenerate to reuse that uh, that energy uh, or also sometimes when the battery is cold then yeah because you cannot charge that quick that battery therefore you cannot have the same uh, let's say braking power uh, through the through the energy that uh, that will be generated by the by the motors. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, with uh, let's say Tesla screen, uh, let me show you here. On top of this uh, screen, you you see a line and some little dots in here. Um, that line uh, it will indicate if you are actually consuming or you are you are uh, uh, let's say generating uh, generating energy while you're driving and then the little dots indicate that uh, the car at the moment has some uh, uh, let's say regenerative uh, brake uh, limit um, just because most likely the battery it's, uh, it's relatively cold it's not relevant for this uh, for this uh, video uh, it will be relevant for how much do you anticipate um, uh, let's say when do you release the accelerator pedal and I will, I will, I will come back to that a little bit later um, the other settings here that you have in, uh, in Tesla, if you go to uh, driving, then uh, you have, um, let's say, acceleration uh, cho choice, you have steering mode choice, we'll not talk about that uh, today, but you have this stopping mode uh, uh, options. And um, you have three options, you have creep, roll and hold. And um, I'll just show you shortly how do they actually work. Um, and what do they really mean? So here in creep mode, uh, it says slowly move when pedal are, pedals are released. So right now I'm, um, I, I, I hold the brake, I put it in drive, and I, I simply release brake. Then the car, it's, it's slowly moving forward. I'm not accelerating, I'm not doing uh, uh, anything, I'm not touching uh, any pedal. So the car will, uh, will slowly move uh, forward. Um, up to around eight kilometers an hour and then it will it will stay there so it will act a little bit like um, like a car with um, um, let's say automatic uh, gearbox um, and without uh, a kind of a, a, a hold mode uh, on the on the brakes uh, when you release the the, the, the the brake then the car will simply move uh, move forward or as a matter of fact also backwards it, it, it does the same thing now let's put it uh, let's put it in park here and let's see what happens with roll mode roll when pedals are released so I put it in in uh, in uh, in, uh, in drive 
And what you can see here, there is a little H, meaning that the car right now, uh, I'm releasing the pedals, the car right now, it's, it's stopped and it will not move forward unless you, you press gently acceleration and then it will it will stop again it's kind of like right now it's in in neutral kind of so if i will be on a on a on a small uh, uh, let's say downhill the car will actually keep on uh, keep on uh, uh, um, let's say rolling downhill so it's like you can say a neutral in a um, um, uh, in a normal uh, petrol car um, with an option of let's say um, uh, hold brake because when I release the, the accelerator you see it's slowing down a bit it's generating a bit of energy and then at some point we'll, we'll go to a complete stop you can see here and then if I press brake it will actually engage this uh, H which is a uh, which is like a, a hold uh, holding brake now the last mode uh, I want to show you, and this is the one we will be talking a bit more about, is this, so to say, uh, hold mode, which it says maximizes range by extended regenerative braking to lower speed, automatically bl uh, uh, blends in uh, uh, brakes to hold the vehicle at a stop. So that's that's an interesting one. So let's let's say drive again. You can you can also see my pedals, and then I accelerate. Then the car starts to uh, uh, to move. When I, re when I, let's say, release gently the accelerator pedal, the car is actually um, braking much stronger. It's braking actually quite strong as if you press the, uh, uh, the, the, the brake pedal. So you see, I'm accelerating, then slowing down. It's, it's, I don't need to use brakes. So within a few meters, the car was, uh, was simply stopped. So this is the mode that it's it's actually using uh, uh, it's actually recovering most of the energy and obviously it's also braking the car uh, uh, a lot a lot more uh, stronger the other two modes creep and roll when you actually press the brake to stop you could actually hear the braking uh, pads uh, pressing on the uh, on the braking discs um, while in hold you don't really hear that um, which obviously it's an indication as well that the, the real brakes are not uh, that much used. There are also some rumor or there's some reports on the internet about let's say a rust problem on the on the on the brakes uh, on uh, many electrical vehicles. Um, they say Tesla have some sort of logger uh, uh, some sort of uh, algorithm that uh, from time to time the brakes are, are, are let's say uh, uh, engaged just to Kind of keep it clean i don't know we'll have to see that um i read recently that let's say volkswagen with the new uh, with the new id models um, they come with a solution with um, with um, actually uh, drums on the back um, which is a closed system so yeah may maybe they have something there uh, which uh, which others could uh, could get inspired uh, from so what we're going to do now uh, as I said, I have scanned my Tesla, and uh, what I did here, I um, I uh, added a, per, uh, a let's say a performance uh, screen, which is uh, customized, uh, where I um, um, where I added the accelerator pedal, so you can actually see when I press uh, acceleration or not. Uh, you see, right now I'm in uh, I'm in park, and then when I when I press the pedal. Uh, you can see accelerator uh, percentage it, it goes uh, it goes up um, I'm going to reset the trip so then uh, um, uh, yeah you you will see how much uh, energy we regenerate just on this uh, short trip um, and then I'm going to record the, the drive and then I will, I will I will come back here to to just review the numbers together okay so I reset the the trip in scan my Tesla. Um, yeah, I have the camera ready. I'm recording also my my behavior on the on the on the pedal here. So ready to drive. Uh, I will switch on this uh, performance mode uh, for now, and uh, I'll be talking a little bit about how it is the experience to to drive uh, a car with uh, let's say just uh, just one pedal. Um, 
as I told you, and yeah, for me this mode was not let's say completely new because I was driving that uh, that Passat in a, in a in a B mode. Uh, but what was uh, what was uh, the first thing I found was that let's say the regenerative braking as such it's much powerful than uh, than in that Passat and then um, uh, it took for me I would say a day or maybe two uh, to kind of get used to uh, and more so to let's say to, to to get a better anticipation when to actually release the the accelerator pedal I was I was tend to let's say release it a little bit too early, uh, so then the car got a, uh, let's say to a stop and then I had to to accelerate. So it, it felt a little bit clumsy, I would say. Uh, but again, it took one two days and uh, and um, that's about it. Sometimes I still have that uh, that impression that I could uh, anticipate a little bit better. Um, but it's also as I mentioned earlier, the the, the braking as such, it's. Um, is depending on um, some factors it depends on the state of charge okay i never had that problem i didn't fully charge this car uh, but it's also depending on uh, how cold uh, or warm is the battery and um, yeah it's something that you will get used to is it's not really a, a big deal now the second thing that i found let's say a bit different or let's say strange is that uh, when you go to let's say a bit larger corners or uh, larger roundabouts um, it's it's a strange feeling that you actually have to accelerate uh, or to keep the pedal uh, in order to let's say go uh, go into the roundabout um, because otherwise the car will will simply stop so normally in a, in a petrol car you you go a little bit more like in, in neutral or the car will kind of free roll and you don't really have that problem uh, um, but with, with Tesla it's kind of or with this mode it's, it's kind of you, you have to maintain it there otherwise the car will stop so um, yeah it's something that you will feel it I think you get used with it uh, uh, very quick and then it feels natural it feels actually very relaxing and talking about let's say relaxing uh, that brings me to let's say the third point here is that because you are actually not moving the the, the foot much you're not you're not moving the foot to to the brake it, it kind of feels like the foot gets in a way stuck because you're not really using it so I don't know it's maybe just me but it, it feels like it's 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 hurting a bit um, you're simply not you know moving between brake and, and acceleration so that's um, that's the third point uh, uh, to, to, to mention to you okay um, now what I'm going to do I'm going to drive for a little bit more uh, here you will uh, you will see that I'm not I'm not actually using at all uh, let's say brakes the real brakes uh, I only control the car from one pedal from the accelerator uh, maybe I will play a little bit of music. Uh, oh, oops, that was a, a big one. Um, and then uh, within, let's say, maximum uh, uh, five minutes, I will, I will um, let's say, stop and um, uh, look at the numbers together. Stay tuned.
yeah so i hope you enjoy that we're back here with uh, scan my tesla and um, let me share with you some uh, statistics so you can see in this very short trip we did the uh, uh, 5.6 uh, kilometers uh, we consume a total of 0 0.98 uh, uh, kilowatt and we re regenerate 0 0.89 so that's 90 percent of energy we regenerate okay i was driving a little bit aggressive just for uh, for actually showing you that even when you actually let's say uh, bring the car to close to a to, to a stop just with one pedal the car will actually uh, still stopping because that regenerative energy or that regenerative braking it's it's quite uh, quite strong so normally this number it's somewhere around uh, 80 percent in the city uh, but that's impressive this percentage this energy will be all wasted uh, more or less in uh, in petrol cars okay they come uh, some of them they come with some sort of a um, uh, uh, let's say system that uh, let's say the the dynamo for 12 volts battery it's actually kicking in uh, uh, when when you release pedal and some little tricks there but nothing like this so th this is huge 90 percent now let me show you um, let's say how much regenerative uh, uh, energy uh, I got on this car uh, uh, since the lifetime of the car so you see I drove uh, almost 5,000 kilometers and um, yeah 25 percent uh, of energy that I use uh, was also regenerated through this regenerative braking so that's that's a quarter um, and this is this is mixed driving it's it's highways where let's say regenerative uh, braking it's it's a lot more uh, regenerative energy it's a lot less uh, and some city driving but a quarter will be all wasted uh, um, if you drive a fossil car um, impressive okay that was the video for today I hope you guys enjoyed uh, please uh, consider subscribing uh, to this channel that will motivate me to generate more interesting content um, for now stay safe and uh, see you later